Description of the unit Health and safety Failure to observe the safety guidelines could result in serious or even fatal injury. Failure to respect the following guidelines could result in damage to the unit and to the associated equipment and processes. The unit must be earthed. It is essential that the electrical supply of the Medica Pro unit is isolated before any items are changed or any maintenance work performed. The external isolator providing power to the unit should be positioned so that it is easily accessible to all users. The water supply should be isolated and residual pressure released prior to removal of any components or carrying out work on the unit. The maximum pressure of the unit must be at three bars. Pressure above this level must be regulated by a relief valve. Pressure above three bars could seriously damage the equipment and could lead to flooding. During the automatic sanitization cycle, CT3 tablets must be used. A safety data sheet confirming to COSHH regulations is also provided with the disinfectant and should be read with care before any tablets are used. Material safety data sheets covering the various replaceable components are available on request. Contact your local Elga Lab Water distributor. Description and functionality of the unit. Doors. Access key reader. Control panel. PF1 button. PF2 button. PF3 button. Process button. On off switch. Master key black. User key blue. Sanitization key green. Service key yellow. Process flow. The feed water enters the pressure regulator PR1 through the inlet solenoid valve V1 then passes through a PROTECT pretreatment cartridge PT1, at 20 micrometer. The PROTECT cartridges remove chlorine, organics and colloidal matter from the feed water. The floater level switches in the brake tank identify any abnormality with the feed water supply. The brake tank provides gravity feed to the RO pump, P1, and regulates any fluctuations in water pressure. P1 provides high pressure and flow required to operate either the M1 or the M2 RO modules. Upon initial startup, the system carries out an RO concentrate flush to drain via a 0.5 PSI NRV2, which helps to maintain a positive back pressure on the system. The RO permeate passes through a quality sensor, QS1, a temperature sensor, TS1, an optional degazer standard in Medica Pro RE reduces the ionic charge if the levels of the carbon dioxide in the feed water are high. The primary purification stage only works when the level of the reservoir is sufficiently low. The internal reservoir must be below 30 litres. The RO permeate flows into the reservoir through the solenoid valve, V2, and the NRV1, filling it up to maximum level. The LC136M2 CVF eliminates suspended contaminants in the air, such as volatile organic compounds and carbon dioxide, and filters the particles and suspended bacteria present in the air.
The water from the reservoir is distributed in the pressurised loop by a recirculation pump, P2. The permeate is then pumped into the MedPure 1 cartridge to be deionized. The purified water is exposed to an intense UV radiation at 254 nanometer, which constantly eliminates bacteria. The 0.05 micrometer ultramicrofilter, UMF, eliminates any impurity in the form of bacteria or particles. The product water then flows through a pressure transducer, PS1, a temperature sensor, TS2, a quality sensor, QS2, measuring its resistivity. The pressure sustaining valve, PSV1, allows the pressure to remain constant in the recirculation loop, while the flow rate varies to meet user requirements. Sanitization, to prevent the slightest bacteriological presence, is semi-automatic for the Medica Pro and is controlled by the solenoid valves V4 and V5.